The Tupolev Tu-204 and Tu-214 are both medium-range narrow-body airliners developed by the Russian aerospace company Tupolev. While they share many similarities, there are some key differences between these two aircraft models. Let's start with the Tu-204. This aircraft was developed in the 1980s and first flew in 1989. It was designed to replace the aging Tu-154 Trijet and compete with Western aircraft like the Boeing 757 and Airbus A321. The Tu-204 is powered by two engines, either the Aviat Vigital PS90 or the Rolls-Royce RB211, depending on the variant. It can carry between 164 to 215 passengers, depending on the configuration. Moving on to the Tu-214, this aircraft is essentially an improved version of the Tu-204. It is technically a Tu-204-200. The Tu-204-200 is a heavier version with extra fuel for more range. Only one was built by Aviastar SP in Ulyanovsk, but has not yet been delivered. Now this version is only produced by KAPO in Kazan, marketed under the designation Tu-214. The main difference lies in its production. While the Tu-204 is manufactured at the Aviastar plant in Ulyanovsk, the Tu-214 is built at the Kazan Aircraft Production Association in Kazan. The Tu-214 first flew in 1996 and entered service in 2001. One of the key improvements in the Tu-214 is its increased maximum takeoff weight. This allows for greater range and payload capacity compared to the Tu-204. The Tu-214 can fly up to 6,500 kilometers, while the Tu-204's range varies between 4,300 to 6,500 kilometers, depending on the specific variant. Tu-204-200C is the cargo version. The Tu-204 has a slightly larger wing area compared to the Tu-204. This increased wing size contributes to its higher maximum takeoff weight and improved range. The wing design of the Tu-214 may also incorporate some aerodynamic improvements over the original Tu-204 design. In terms of engines, both aircraft use the Aviat Vigatel PS90 engines, but the Tu-214 typically uses the more advanced PS90A variant, which promises 40% more service between overhauls. This provides slightly better fuel efficiency and performance. The Tu-214 also incorporates some structural improvements and more modern avionics compared to the earlier Tu-204 models. However, later versions of the Tu-204 have also been upgraded, narrowing the gap between the two aircraft. It's worth noting that while the Tu-204 has been produced in various passenger and cargo variants for both civilian and military use, the Tu-214 has found more success in specialized roles. Many Tu-214s have been built as VIP transports, airborne command posts, and other special mission aircraft for the Russian government and military. In terms of commercial success, neither aircraft has seen widespread adoption by airlines outside of Russia and a few other countries. This is partly due to competition from established Western manufacturers and partly due to economic and political factors affecting the Russian aerospace industry. Tu-204 may be discontinued by 2028 if MC-21 regular production begins. To summarize, while the Tu-204 and Tu-214 are very similar aircraft, the Tu-204 can be thought of as a slightly improved and modernized version of the Tu-204, with some differences in production location and typical use cases. Both continue to play important roles in Russian aviation, particularly in government and special mission applications. Now, do you think Tu-204 should be discontinued? Let us know in the comments. Don't miss out on the latest aerospace insights. Hit that like and subscribe button for more amazing content. Please also take a look into our memberships to support us.